Welcome to this edition of Introduction to Store Fusion by QLogic. My name is Todd Owens. I'm a member of the OEM technical marketing team here at QLogic. And today I want to walk through a new feature we call Fabric Assigned Worldwide Name that's part of the QLogic Store Fusion technology family. What is Store Fusion? Well, it's a co developed set of functions from QLogic and Brocade to make the storage area network smarter and easier to manage than ever before. As of today, there are 10 specific features that make up Store Fusion, and all 10 are implemented using Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel infrastructure from QLogic and Brocade. If you want your SAN to be smart, fast, and easy to manage, then you need to upgrade to Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel today. Here are the 10 features that are part of the Store Fusion technology family, and we're going to be focusing in on the feature called Fabric Assign or Worldwide Name. Let's start by looking at the customer problem. Sarah is the manager of a small SAN administration team that's been tasked with adding a new storage area network as part of a data center expansion project. Now her team was on top of things and have all the storage devices, the Brocade Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel switching in place, now they have the cables, all their SFPs, they're ready to go. However, the servers with the fiber channel adapters installed in them have not yet arrived. With no servers, there's no way to determine the worldwide names of each of the host fiber channel connections. That means that Sarah and her team can't do the zoning, and they'll be asked to do a rush job at the last minute to get the job done. That means late nights and long weekends, and nobody likes that. Well, what if Sarah could configure all the storage and switch hardware and even zone the fabric without having the servers on hand. Well, that's exactly what Fabric Assign Worldwide Name functionality provides. With QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel Adapters and the Brocade Gen 5 Fiber Channel Fabrics, Sarah and her team can pre-configure worldwide names within the Brocade switches at the port level without even knowing what the worldwide name of the physical adapter is. When the servers and the adapters arrive, uh, all that's required is to configure the adapters to enable Fabric Assign Worldwide Name. Let's take a look at what's involved for Sarah's team here. So they've got to create a list of worldwide names that they want to assign to each of the servers. Uh, they've got to create and map LUNs in their storage device to those worldwide names of those servers. And then they log into the Brocade Fabric uh, and uh, enable Fabric Assign Worldwide Name and zone that fabric up so that they make all the connections from a brocade perspective as if those servers were already physically connected to the environment. Then at whatever time the servers arrive, all that the server administrator has to do is um, install the servers, connect them to the switches, the appropriate ports for the appropriate server port, um, load their OSs, and then launch a, an app management application called QCC that we'll talk about in a minute, and enable Fabric Assign Worldwide Name on the adapter end. And once they do that, they're ready to go. If we look at what is involved in enabling the Fabric Assign Worldwide name within the Brocade fabric itself, uh, here are the steps. The first thing we've got to do is launch Brocade Network Advisor and disable the ports that we're going to assign these worldwide names to. So to do that, we select the port, we click on the Enable Disable and select the Disable button. From there, we're going to select a switch and we're going to uh, click on the Fabric Assign Worldwide Name to open up a management window. When we do that, we'll get a uh, Configure Fabric Assign Worldwide Names management window. Uh, you'll see that uh, our port should be disabled. And then we can go in and we've got a couple of different choices on how we assign those worldwide names. The first one is, uh, first option we have is to do an auto assignment. And that will have uh, the brocade fabric will generate a worldwide name and assign it to that particular port. Uh, the other option is to uh, have a user defined a worldwide name. So in this case we select you, the user button and we enter the desired worldwide name and then select OK. So once we do that uh, the Brocade Network Advisor will go out and make all those configuration changes uh, we'll hit the start button to make that happen and then once it's all done it'll come back and tell us whether it completed that successfully or not. So let's take a look at how we do this in the real world. So here I am on my server. Let's go ahead and launch Brocade Network Advisor. Now I'm going to work with port 9 on this switch here. So the first thing I want to do is disable the port. So I'll go ahead and disable the port. And that's good. 
and now we'll go into the switch we'll select fabric assign worldwide name and we'll go to port number nine here you note that it's disabled and I'm gonna do a user configuration and I'm gonna give it a uh, worldwide name of all right there's my worldwide name entered click the OK button then I click start and brocade takes care of me and creates my world my fabric assign worldwide name now I should mention that in my environment I've already pre-configured my LUNs I've already mapped the LUN to that worldwide name I just entered into the system uh, we're gonna go to our port and we're going to enable our port we'll click yes now um, we're done We've uh, enabled the Fabric Assign Worldwide name on port 9, and all we got to do is wait for the server to show up. Okay, so when my server shows up, uh, what I need to do is load the OS, and then I need to launch a utility called QCC. This is uh, QLogic's Q Converge console, which manages our fiber channel adapters. And uh, I'm going to be doing a demonstration here with the GUI. You can do this with the CLI as well. But uh, we go ahead and launch Q Converge Console, and all we have to do is we select the port, and then we go across the top, and we click on the Parameters tab. Then we go into the Advanced Parameters, and we enable Fabric Assign Worldwide Name. We'll save that configuration, refresh our host, and what should happen is up in the upper right-hand corner, you can see the factory assigned worldwide name ends in 4E2E, and. Uh, what we did is we entered uh, this particular uh, worldwide name in our previous steps and what should happen when we config when we enable fabric assign worldwide names then uh, our worldwide name should change to this new one that ends in 7001 and what should happen at that point is the storage resources that Sarah and her team configured should now be visible to my brand new server that I just powered on and enabled fabric assign worldwide name with so let's take a look at that so here's that new server. We loaded the operating system. We've loaded QCC. Um, let's go ahead and run QCC. Oh, before we do that, let's take a look at the server itself. Yeah, so here's Disk Manager. You can see we only have the system disk that's pre-configured in the server. What we're looking for is a 20 gig partition or 20 gig uh, volume that uh, we created on a storage device and assigned to the worldwide name in that brocade fabric. So when we enable Fabric Assign Worldwide Name here, what should happen is a new 20 gig uh, disk volume should show up. So we'll go into uh, Q Converge Console. Here's our QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 16 gig adapter. And I'm going to go into port 2. And what I'm going to do here is go to Parameters, go to Advanced Parameters, and I'm going to enable Fabric Assign Worldwide Name. Now this is disabled by default, so when you get your brand new connect, your uh, brand new adapter, you have to go in and enable it. So let's go ahead and do our configuration password. And our changes have been made and saved. Okay. And now all we need to do is refresh our host. So we'll go up here and click this little button, which will refresh our local host. Once we let's go up and verify that our fabric assigned worldwide name is set. So I'll go back into port two, go back into parameters. Well, actually I can tell already, you'll notice that the worldwide name here is changed to the worldwide name um, that we had, but just to be sure. We're fully enabled, ready to go. Let's go take a look at what we see for disks. Oh, look at that. There's our 20, 20 and a half gig uh, volume that showed up that was pre-configured by Sarah and her team weeks ago. So in summary, Store Fusion's Fabric Assign Worldwide Name feature allows you, a SAN administrator to pre-configure the entire SAN without having to have all of the physical pieces in place. So the servers and the uh, fiber channel adapters don't need to be there and we can pre-configure everything, saving lots of time and simplifying the overall project. A secondary benefit of uh, Store Fusion Fabric Assign Worldwide Name is the fact that if you had a server fail, you could wheel in a new server, plug it into the SAN, and assuming that you had QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel HVAs, 
the HPA would read the uh, Fabric Design Worldwide name and you'd be up and running in a matter of minutes. Uh, so no reconfiguration of the SAN required even when replacing a failed unit. Uh, remember that for this functionality you need to have QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel HPAs and Brocade Gen 5 Fiber Channel Switching Fabric and the applications that were utilized to manage all of this is the Brocade Network Advisor Utility along with QLogic's Q Converge Console. Well, that's it for this edition of Store Fusion Introduction by QLogic. I want to thank you for your time and your attention, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.